Hello and welcome everyone to Cerner coursework and how to finish your work easily. I'll start with a very simple tip as to how to put a sidebar. So a sidebar is, for example, going to subjective history, press on. If you press on this, you find that this is attached. Go on to objective physical exam, press on this. Go on to assessment and plan, press on this. The reason why you want to do this is when you go to documents, you can, for example, see whatever you want, you can see notes, and then you can write something here. The patient had endoscopy, for example. And then you can keep tracking instead of going back and forth and scrolling up and down. It makes life so much easier. Thank you. This course says how to create a template for medications. So if you wanted to create a template for medications like this one, checking the medications of the patients each day instead of going back and going to inpatient medications and then you have to go in and look and revise instead what you can do is you can just go to a template here you press this ZZ and it just automatically pops in and it shows you the medications that are PR in that continues and it's very accurate it saves you a lot of time so how do you do this you go into this manage auto text again you go to a add a new phrase and then you see this icon it says insert templates and tokens and then you search for inpatient medications it shows you the inpatient medications you insert that you add you add your acronym which for me did i at zz meds and then you save it but i already did that so i need to do that and you discard the changes and then you log out so the next time you want to put medications, you write ZZ Meds, and you got it. Thank you. Next course, you want to add the template for labs. So if you want to add the template for labs, you should add Z again. You're going to add this icon button. You're going to write whatever ZZ Labs, whatever you want. And then you search again for insert icon icons. And you search for inpatient lab results. It will get you the inpatient lab results that has been done for the patient. So there are different lab results for this um, for this type of Cerner. So what you want to do is um, trap lab. It's this lab result also. It's a bit different. There's a 72 hour lab and there's an all hour lab. There's an other labs that are might, the hospital blood gases can be very important. The other one is the cardiac lab, yeah, cardiac enzyme lab, if you're doing cardiology. Um, Yep, there's also, I think, urine test results, wait, lab urine, yeah, there's a hospital urinalysis that can be helpful sometimes, labs 24 hours. Hello everyone, next to is how to add a Malampati score for patients. So in order to do Malampati score, you have to log in, um, you have to change your experience. So you log into my experience and then go to cardiology workflow and then save it and log out we'll ask you to and then what you can do signs and then you add this and you add a malampati and asa score so what you want to do is you classify the malampati it will give you like details on how to classify it you choose whatever you choose an asa score and then you're done and then don't forget to sign the form Thank you. Next is how to check if the patient took his medications or no. So you have to go to the MAR summary and then you check if the patient has received the medication. So if you want to know the patient has, does, did the patient take his medication since a week, did he miss a dose of an anticoagulant, for example, or and you need to investigate, you go back and you, if you go back here, you're just going back one day, one day. If you go forward, you go forward one day, but you won't need the future, would you? Uh, if you want to set a time to make it more concise, you press this gray bar and then you change the properties and then you set the time. For example, you want it from the 1st of December 2020 to the 17th of December 2020 and then it will show the whole, the whole time where the medication was given. So sometimes you might be looking for a medication and it's not there. So what you want to do, so typically what you want to do is you change the encounter. So you have to change the encounter here. And you have to, for example, do radiology department or a patient. And this 
will change the time where the patient was there. Did he take the medication at this example? You, the patient was given a medication, but he was not given at that encounter, so you have to change it. So for example, radio OP, and then you will see the MAR summary has changed. No medication was present at that time. So you go back to where the patient is admitted, for example, in the emergency. Thank you. Next, we need to talk about medication reconciliation. So if you want to discharge a patient, so a patient is on these so-and-so medications, you need to discharge a patient. So you need to do is to go to medication. There's two ways to do that. You can go to inpatient and then you can just transfer the patient or and then there will be a, like an um, there will be an order here that says discharge or you can go to the medication list reconciliation and then discharge the patient it's both the same thing so what you want to do is you can add medications whatever you want you can add like metacopramide for example here and then you just give it for like 12 weeks you just dispense the order and then it says here to give it then you have to reconcile but then it should appear under this one that's as a discharge you're creating a new prescription it will come as a, as a new prescription so and then it will appear in a way so it might, might not appear here so another trick click on this tab and enable prescriptions make sure that the prescriptions is ticked you'll see the prescriptions you can now see it prescribed here appearing so what you want to tick is you go to the resident workflow and then medications and you refresh and then the metacopramide will appear. Thank you. Some really nice tricks that saves you a lot of time is to make a, a list of lab orders that you can just choose from. But other tricks that are really impressive is, for example, you're ordering a CBC. So what you want to do is you want to lift this up a bit. And then if you want to press the tab key, if you tab, you will just move. So routine is you want to do it at a specific time. AM draws, you're doing it the next day. If you write, if you control A, then A, who gets AM, and then stat is now, then time study is for a later date. And then you tab again, you collect it or no. This is this might be different for different hospitals. Request it. So if you press T, it gets today. So for example, if I if I use 5th of December, this already happened. So if I press T to automatically change to today. And then if you press, for so example, let's me let me write some something completely random, 12 a.m. If I write N, it's now. And then frequency is once, you want it once, you want it daily. And then you just keep tabbing and then you're done. If you get used to this, it gets really quick. Thank you. Welcome back. So labs is one of the most annoying things to do. So I've auto-populated all the list here. So you can classify your labs according to admission orders, for example, where you put an oxaparin, whatever orders that they want from you. You want to do like a, there's like a, this, I've seen a lot of patients for desaturation, so we just ordered these sometimes. You can classify them according to, there's one like antibiotics, I think. Yep. Um, you can classify them according to follow-ups, clinics. You can classify, you can just get creative as much as you want, like orders that, that, are, that, that we use commonly in the hospital. Um, PRN is one really important, like we use all of these medications. So we'll just get creative. The way the way to do it is to just create folders. You can yeah, you can organize favorites, and then you create a folder, and then you just name the folder blah blah. Actually, once you create a folder, you actually can't delete it. I think no, you can't delete it. And then you name that, and then you create it under antihypertensive. So you open the folder, and then you create folder under it and you just can create create keep creating folders and folders labs and that's how you name you create that you can enter it and then rename it or you can move it to another folder so it's very creative and but i want to delete this because it's okay so uh the keyboard shortcut that you want is control a to mark everything control backspace removes the stuff but control so for example Control space removes only like a digit digit or a letter letter, but control max space removes the whole thing. You can just keep doing control. Control shift right removes this. And then, yeah, control Z if you want to go back to something. And then control A to delete. Control Z again. So if you want to take something out, you control X is to cut it. 
then control V is to paste it. It's going to be very helpful. Control shift down marks everything below what you what you wrote. Control shift down. And then you go, you press it three times and it gets the whole thing. Thank you. Hello and welcome back. Um, so IV insulin is a quite a tricky order. So you type insulin, you get Aspar, Lispro, but uh, we want the IV one. So again, I'm failing. So what you want to do is type Indo IV insulin protocol and click it and then you will get an automated order. So the other workaround for the order is to order regular insulin and dilute, it, dilute 50 units in 50 ml saline so you get one unit per um, ml. Now sign your order, wait for the signature, keep waiting and then you will find some additional details. So for you'll find some instructions here. So for the continuous details you might want to add the units per hour, for example two units per hour. So the other trick that you might want to try is that it, what if you want a sliding scale of the insulin? So there's an... In yeah, it's already there. So the protocol is already there. You don't need to do anything. This is the sliding scale or you can just go, but you need to go up, delete this as a whole, and then write C instructions. Yep, C instructions. And that'll be the sliding scale. And that'll make your life easy. You can, uh, there's another trick that you want to do if you want to put the algorithm in case someone missed it. You can go, just make this a bit smaller. You can copy this here. And then you can add it as a note for the signing skill instructions. Next is how to manipulate a patient x-ray. So this is the Cerner system. So what you want to do is you get an x-ray. If you double click it, it enlarges. And you get two panels so in order to access these panels you just right click and you press on these and then it gives you like your, if you want it, do you want it three way do you want it four way do you want it organized like four images whatever you want and next you need to know how to get the previous image so what you do is you go to workspace and then your workspace sketches and then you go to history when you go to history if you you can do either just lift this part up so you press on this twice and then you drag this and you move it here and then you press on this and you move it here and then you press on this and then you move it here now you have four x-rays now you want it to get better and you got this so you want to open one image for example let's say this one so the trick is you can either play with the brightness to increase the exposure decrease the exposure like that you can just optimize it to whatever you want this increases the exposure this decreases it this i think might increase the shadows this increases this is decreases increases the shadows this increases the highlight so a trick that you want to do if you see something suspicious and you want to zoom you want to right click and then just drag to the right and then drag to the left back again if you drag with this mouse direction you get a zooming of the image thank you another problem with the orders is sometimes you can't write orders but you can want to write them in other people's names so what you want to do you change the ordering position and then you change for example this is um this is my name and then you want to change the name typically you want to know the first and last name and then yeah and then press ok and then the order will appear thank you